while since we've had one of these. Uh... What are they? Oh, Bears Beauties. Um, but Snuffleupagus was here was irresistible. So therefore, we had to come up with one of these rather quickly. Uh, so after a brief consultation with my colleague, we figured how can we do this in a reasonably accurate way and yet still be true to the science? Shall we say we've come up with a solution for you? So the question for Snuffleupagus was here, from Snuffleupagus was here, was I need to differentiate between DR and NCR. Well, that's rather easy, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not sure how that was presented to you originally, uh, but normally speaking, they would not be put anywhere near each other in a behavior analysis course at all. <laughs> They're very different things. Differential reinforcement is just reinforcing one behavior while ignoring a different one, essentially, right? So putting one on extinction and reinforcing something. Uh, there's lots of different types of those, alternative, incompatible, low rates of behavior. So you're going to do, you're going to reinforce certain qualities about behavior, if you will, or certain uh, patterns of behavior, or certain behaviors in general while ignoring others. That has nothing to do with NCR, all right? NCR is commonly referred to as non-contingent reinforcement. There's a rule around here. If anyone says non-contingent reinforcement, God, if anyone says non, if anyone says NCR, they get hit. There's a reason. NCR isn't really NCR. It's the non-contingent delivery of reinforcing stimuli. So I'm going to pause our rule because my head's starting to hurt. But NCR, non-contingent reinforcement, doesn't make any sense. Reinforcement, by definition, has a contingent requirement, okay, a contingency requirement. So you can only reinforce a behavior if that particular behavior has happened that's connected to the reinforcer. It's contingent. Reinforcer is delivered if the behavior happens. <sighs> NCR is basically the sprinkling of reinforcing stimuli. Stimuli that will serve as reinforcers if you set them up right. If you sprinkle them out there on the people or the dogs or whatever it is that you're working with, then guess what? It devalues the reinforcer. Sounds weird, right? Think of it this way. If a person, if you just give a person a bunch of ice cream, just randomly give them ice cream, then you say, hey, will you go dig a hole? I'll give you some ice cream. They're going to be like, no, I, I, I don't want any ice cream. Give me some money. Ah, so non-contingent reinforcement. Ah, the non-contingent delivery of reinforcing stimuli is really just a way to manipulate motivation, right? It's actually an antecedent intervention. So if you if you have a kiddo that is um, has an attention maintained problem behavior, give them tons of attention for anything else. Do it when it's non-contingent. Just 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 deliver contingent to just deliver attention you don't even have to wait for a specific behavior to happen um, that should decrease the probability of the problem behavior happening because the problem behavior is maintained by attention now that's just one simple example okay i gave you the food example i gave you the attention example it could be escape it could be all sorts of things uh, but the idea is is that you're re delivering reinforcing stimuli right without having a contingency component. It purely manipulates motivation. Manipul I hate that term manipulate. It sounds so negative. It's not. It's like manipulating clay. But in our today's world, you say the word manipulate, everybody freaks out. So um, so it, it's about playing with the motivational operations, right? So if you uh, if, if, if the behavior is maintained by a certain reinforcer and then you make sure that that person has had plenty of that reinforcer, the behavior is probably not going to happen or at least not at a much lower rate. So that's what you use NCR for. Uh, DR is differential reinforcement, and then there's all of sorts of things, right? Alternative, incompatible, differential reinforcement of low rates of behavior, differential reinforcement of high rates of behavior, differential reinforcement of diminishing rates of behavior. There's all sorts of DRs, right? So that is just reinforcing one response um, in, as an alternative to others, or in a DRL or DRH scenario, you're reinforcing lower rates of a response or higher rates of a response but that has nothing to do with the delivery of reinforcers separate from the behavior, which is what NCR is about. Delivering, sprinkling, so think of it this way, think of sprinkling reinfor reinforcing stimuli in the environment. Um, if you'd like a visual, just think of Salt Bay, whatever the guy's name is, I can't remember, with his thousand dollar steak these days, um, which is crazy. Um, I would love to analyze the MOs on that. But anyway, so he's just sprinkling the salt, right? Um, but in reality, just think of behavior, just think of the reinforcers as being sprinkled. There you go. NCR versus DR.